We now know who took the missing monolith. Four shadowy figures can be seen about to carry away the 12-foot-long monolith in the remote desert in Utah. They posted this video online showing the column after they dismantled it, exposing the interior with the boast, we removed the Utah monolith. They were on a mission. They came out there to do exactly what they did. Photographer Ross Bernard says he happened to be at the site when he witnessed the removal. Just hit the ground with one of the loudest thuds I've ever heard. One of the guys had said, well, this is why you don't leave trash in the desert as they started taking it apart. Rivets left over from the takedown. <laughs> so who did it? This adventure tour guide Sylvan Christensen is now claiming responsibility. He says he and his buddies removed the column out of concern about the crowds flocking to the site and the potential damage those people were causing to the environment. People arrived by car, by bus, by van, helicopter, planes, trains, motorcycles, and e-bikes. And there isn't even a parking lot, he told Inside Edition in an email. Ross Bernards took the last known photo of the monolith before it was toppled. It looks like it must have been tough for them to do that. It wasn't. Like, it was shockingly easy. But the biggest mystery is still unknown. Who put it up in the first place? Safe word is... Thank you.